Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is micro applications and radiation hazards. We'll discuss certain important applications of the micro. The most important part of this session is the radiation hazards. That is the effect of micro radiation on the human body and how we can avoid this radiation. So let us start with the micro applications. This is the list of micro applications which are commonly used applications. So first is the microwaves are used for microwave heating purposes. We know the common example uh, of a microwave which is used for heating is a microwave uh, oven which is used for uh, heating of uh, food and so on. Usually this microwave heating takes place in the frequency range 300 to 3000 megahertz. The microwave heating depends on the type of material, I mean the shape, size and dielectric constant of the material as well as this microwave heating depends on the nature of microwave equipment which you are using for the heating purpose. Next is the application for broadcasting. We know that uh, below the microwave range, whatever range is available, that is very much crowded nowadays. So in many broadcasting applications, this microwave range is preferred. For example, uh, 12 gigahertz uh, used for satellite uh, TV broadcasting. Then third application is for drying of wood, papers and textiles as well as for drying of certain uh, printing inks. Then in case of satellite communication, it is used because we know that microwaves can penetrate through the ionosphere. So in case of satellite communication, these microwave signals are preferred. Then it can be used for the measurement of moisture content. The reason is whenever the microwaves are passing, traveling through the water, let us say water, then the water absorbs the micro energy. So uh, you can measure the moisture contents using this micro signals. Then another important application is the radiometer. This concept is related to the uh, measurement of a black body because it is used for flood mapping, then atmospheric humidity, uh, then solar emission mapping and so on. Then microwaves are used for measurement of thickness of uh, metal sheets. Then in case of Doppler motion sensor, whenever there is a relative uh, change in the frequency, then to get an idea of the target or to measure the speed, uh, this Doppler motion sensors are used where these micro signals are used. Then continuous measurements of wire diameter can be done using this micro techniques. Then heating of for heating of plastic and rubber materials and in some uh, biomedical applications, uh, for example, biomedical diatermy, this uh, particular uh, micro signals are preferred. We are going to study this biomedical application in detail. Now, let us discuss one important uh, biomedical application of a micro. It is micro diatermy. In this case, Basically, the treatment is given by increasing the heat. So in this method, I that is the current is used to heat the muscular tissues. So this is basically the heat therapy, heat treatment and this heat therapy is used to increase the tissue elasticity as well as it improves the blood flow in that particular muscular tissues. Due to the application of this heat therapy, which we are uh, providing using the microwaves, the metabolism increases. This upward arrow in indicates the values are increasing and due to increase in the metabolism, the blood flow also increases. So this treatment helps the tissues relax and stretching quite easily. Then there are three met uh, major methods. One is shortwave diatermy. In this case, the capacitors are used. I mean two capacitor plates are used. These capacitor plates are placed across the part of the body which is uh, to be treated. Then the high frequency signal is applied to the plates of capacitor. This high frequency signal generates the heat and then that heat therapy is uh, uh, applied to the particular muscular tissue. Usually the frequency of operation is 27.3 megahertz. The second is ultrasound therapy. In this method, since it is based on the ultrasound, so high frequency, HF means high frequency, high frequency acoustic vibrations are produced and they are used to generate the heat in the deep tissues. Then third is microwave diatherby. In this case, for the generation of heat, the radar waves are used. So this is about the biomedical application of the microwave. 
Now, the most important part is radiation hazards. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. What are microwave radiation hazards and what are its types? Or the question may be like this. Explain the effect of radiation on the human and how it can be avoided. Or simply the question may be like this. Write a short note on microwave radiation hazards. So radiation hazards means it is a risk to the health due to exposure uh, to the microwave radiation. We know that the microwaves are E and H, that is electric and magnetic uh, energy waves traveling together. So this type of waves, when electric and magnetic waves are traveling together, they form some kind of electromagnetic radiation. EM means electromagnetic radiation. The major characteristics or basic characteristics of this radiation is it generates non-ionizing radiation. It has a sufficient energy to move the molecules around the atom. Because of this uh, characteristics, because of such characteristics, uh, the micro radiation is used for the cooking of food in case of micro oven as well as the micro radiation is used in many industrial applications. Then different types of hazards. First is hazards of EM radiation to the personal, that is hazards of EM radiation uh, as far as the human is concerned. So it is abbreviated as HERP, that is hazards of electromagnetic radiation to the personal. So heat of the radiation, basically radiation produces heat. This heat affects the tissues. Because of this, whenever the radiation, whenever the human is uh, in the vicinity nearby the radiation then the internal temperature of the body gets increased because of the radiation which is falling on the tissues <clears throat> this radiation depends on the dimensions of the body then electrical properties of the tissues as well as the wavelength of the radiation another important part apart from these tissues is lens of human eye actually lens are more susceptible to the uh, uh, thermal energy so because of this thermal energy or because of this radiation it may happen that uh, there is a, a certain permanent effect as far as this lens is concerned it may cause the contact then body skin is also getting affected due to exposure uh, to the radiation so it generates the heat energy and in the extreme cases it may damage it may burn the skin Second type of radiation hazards is hazards of electromagnetic radiation to ordnance, that is HERO. In case of uh, modern radios or in case of uh, radar transmitting, TX means transmitting. So in case of modern radio and radar transmitting equipments, a uh, high RF field, that is high intensity radio frequency field is generated because of which it may happen that it will cause premature activation of some electro explosive devices. That means uh, before the decided time period, the activation of electro explosive uh, devices takes place uh, due to this radar and uh, radar transmitting equipment which are producing the high intensity RF field. Third type is hazards of EM radiation to the fuel. It may happen that because of the electromagnetic radiation, the sparking uh, takes place and because of which the ignition of uh, ignition will take place. Then these are some effects as far as this radiation, microwave radiation is concerned. There are certain remedies also that means we can minimize this radiation and we can avoid it up to certain extra by uh, certain extent by using certain uh, techniques. First is apply draping of fabric material over some electrical equipments, electrical appliances. This fabric material is made up of uh, this nickel and copper material. The property of nickel and copper material, that is the fabric uh, material, is that it absorbs the EM radi uh, radiation before reaching to the particular electrical appliances. Then this absorbed uh, electromagnetic radiation, which is absorbed by this uh, fabric material, is then applied or bypassed to the earth terminal. Then you may use EMF, that is electromagnetic field blocking paints. Some typical paints are available which are responsible for blocking this radiation. 
Another important part is the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is the major source of uh, radiation. So uh, in the market, certain Wi-Fi shielding uh, material, certain Wi-Fi shielding techniques are available. You may you make use of this Wi-Fi shielding techniques. This uh, shielding material, Wi-Fi shielding material, passes the internet uh, signals, but it avoids the, it blocks the uh, micro radiations. And then these radiations are bypassed to the earth. Then you may use EMI blocking window films. Again, it avoids the radiation. So, dear students, this is about the radiation hazards, its effects, its types, and how you can avoid this radiation or how you, you can minimize this radiation hazards. So, dear students, that's it for today's session. So, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.